What's going on YouTube, Robocast Gaming here. Today I'm going to bring you another unturned guide to survival, and this video isn't really as much as a guide to survival as it is a stats video. That doesn't really make sense if I think about it, so basically, I'll explain this real fast. Um, as you can tell by the title, this video is actually going to be covering weapon spawn locations of the handguns, rifles, and sniper rifles. I'm splitting this up into different videos because they'll be really long if I keep it in one video because there's a bunch of different guns. There's handguns, rifles, sniper rifles, assault rifles, shotguns, and machine guns. So if I do that in one video, it's going to be a pretty long video. Um, so this time, once again, I'm just doing handguns, rifles, and sniper rifles. So basically what I'm going to be covering is the weapon location and some of the basic stats that they have. Not number stats like damage and stuff like that, just stats about them, little facts and stuff like that. Okay, so let's get started. The first section we're going to be going over is the handgun section. And of course, first off in the handgun section is the Colt. Um, the Colt can be found in most civilian locations, which is basic, basically uh, inside of houses, inside of towns, pretty much anywhere it could be found that is a civilian location, um, which basically just means houses. Uh, that's the main place you find this weapon. You don't really find it many other places except for inside of houses. Um, it has a seven round magazine, it takes civilian ammo, and it is one shot zombie kill in the head. It does have tactical attachments, and it does have a semi and safety mode. Okay guys, next up in the handgun section is the Cobra. I'm sure many of you guys like the Cobra, because it's single fire and it is rapid fire, so it's pretty great. Um, so the Cobra is usually found in police locations. I think one of the police locations is over here by um, Liberation Bridge, maybe? No, I think it's, it's either up by the airport or by Liberation Bridge. It's like a police roadblock with a tower and stuff. I'm sure you guys know where that is. Uh, I think it's by the airport. I'm not sure, though. Uh, but it's, it could be found in police locations. So, Oh, actually, that also means it could be found in police stores. In uh, Police stores. Wow. It could be found in police stations in different towns. Um, it has a 20-round magazine. It is fully automatic, and it is a two-shot kill zombie in the head. Um, so basically, you could kill a zombie in the head with two shots. It takes civilian ammo. It does have tactical attachments, and it has three modes, which are semi, auto, and safety. Okay guys, next up in our handgun section is the Ace. The Ace is usually found in civilian locations, which is basically just like the Colt, um, so in civilian houses and civilian places like that. I'm sure you guys can understand that. Hopefully you can, because I've tried explaining it a couple times. Um, the Ace does have a six-round magazine, and it deals a lot of damage, so it's a one-shot in the head for zombies. Um, and it uses civilian ammo, so it's pretty great. It's a great gun, does a lot of damage, and uses civilian ammo. It doesn't really have any attachments you can put on it, and it does have three modes, oh my, my bad, it does have two modes, semi and safety. So it's a pretty great gun, I will show you it, maybe if I could find mine, because I remember I had one somewhere, but I don't know where it is right now. Okay, next up is the Desert Eagle, which is actually the gun I'm holding right here in my hand. Uh, it has a really cool animation whenever you pull it out, I'll show you guys that real fast. It like flips it around, it's pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, the Desert Eagle is found in military locations, and I'm not gonna lie, I've played Unturned for quite a while uh, since this gun came out, and I have only found it one time, so it seems to be a pretty rare spawning gun. Um, but it is a 7 round magazine, as you can tell. It does high damage, and it uses civilian am ammunition. Um, it's probably gonna change to military in the future, but as of right now, it takes civilian. Okay, so the next section we're going to be covering is the rifle section, and uh, there's a couple different guns in the rifle section, so this one's going to take a little bit longer than handguns. I'm sure you guys know the number of rifles in this game is over 9,000. So, um, the first rifle we're going to be going over is the Schofield. The Schofield is a civilian rifle, so which means it takes civilian ammo. It has a 5-round magazine, and it is a one-shot kill player in the head. This thing I'm reading is kind of backwards. It's supposed to be one-shot player kill, but it says one-shot play kill. Whatever. You, you heard what I said. Just ignore if I say anything backwards. Um, so basically, what I mean by that is you can kill a player with one shot in the head. It is a pretty common gun. You could usually find it around the farms. Wilshire Farm, Fernwood Farm, and Wellington Farm. That's the main three places I've found them. I don't think I've ever found them anywhere else. Um, and yes, they do have tactical sight and grip attachments. And they have two modes, which is semi and safety. Um, sorry if I, I'm kind of like messing up what I'm trying to say. It's really late and I'm extremely tired. But I'm going to record this video anyways because YOLO. Okay, so next up is the Hawkhound. The Hawkhound is once again another civilian gun. It has an 8 round magazine, takes civilian ammunition, and once again it is a pretty common gun. I usually find those around the farms too. I think sometimes I find them at the... where is it? Uh, crap. I don't remember where else I find them. I thought it was one of the islands, but I'm not entirely sure. Oh yeah, I think it was O'Leary Prison. Don't get me right, or don't get me wrong on that or whatever. I'm not entirely sure. 
Um, but the Hawkhound also is a one-shot player kill in the head, and it has tactical sight and grip attachments. And once again, it has two modes of semi and safety. I've just realized I've said once again like 20 times so far this video. Uh, hopefully it does, the number doesn't go any higher or anything. Okay, so next up is the Sport Shot. Um, the Sport Shot is once again another civilian gun, and it was added pretty recently, so it's a pretty new gun. Uh, I like it, it's pretty cool. Uh, but the Sport Shot is a civilian gun, it has a 10 round magazine, and it takes civilian ammunition. Actually, I think I have one somewhere. I think it's in my inventory. Here it is. Here's the Sport Shot. It's really quiet, actually. I'm going to shoot it real fast. Let's see. Let's find a zombie. See, you could barely hear it, but as you could just tell, it's a two-shot zombie kill in the head, and it does take attachments of tactical sight and grip. Um, so it's a really nice gun. It has a pretty high rate of fire, and it is somewhat rare. So uh, they're pretty hard to find. Once again, probably throughout the like, last couple weeks I've been playing this with this update, I've probably found it like one or two times in online, and I play quite a bit online, so that's just your sign. It is pretty rare. Um, it's a pretty nice gun, though. And it does have two modes of semi and safety. Okay guys, last but not least in our rifle section is the makeshift rifle. This is another one of the new weapons, and you can actually craft it from trees and metal, I think. I'm not sure about that, but it's a really cool gun, and it's cool because you can craft it. Um, so there's three types of this gun. There's the birch, the maple, and the pine versions. And pine is the best. I don't know why, because like all the trees are the same. But pine is the best version out of all of these, so there you go. Um, this is technically take civilian ammo, but it is craftable as I said before. It has a five round magazine. It takes civilian ammunition. Uh, it's easily craftable. What the heck? This repeats itself so much. Um, it is a one shot kill zombie in the head and it's barrel and sight attachments. You can make a makeshift muffler and that makeshift muffler is actually a suppressor. So that's pretty nice whenever you want to suppress your sound a little bit. It's not too quiet, but it's pretty good. And of course you can also make a makeshift scope. Uh, you could also put regular scopes on this gun, but makeshift is probably the easiest. Okay guys, last but not least in this video is the sniper rifle section. And uh, there's one, two, three, four different sniper rifles that I'm going to be covering. And one of them isn't really a sniper rifle, but it's under the section sniper rifles. Um, so the first one is the Timberwolf. The Timberwolf is a military gun, which means it takes military ammunition. It has a six round magazine. It is extremely rare. And it takes attachments of tactical sight and grip. Um, it is a one shot player kill in the head and it has two modes semi and safety our next gun is the grizzly the grizzly is another military weapon it has five round magazines it is also very rare and it has tactical grip and sight attachments um the grizzly can pretty much blow up a car in two hits uh, most cars i don't think it'll blow up a ural in two hits but it will blow up like a truck or a hatchback or anything like that with two hits um, so I like having that gun. If you can't find a rail gun, then you could just have one of those and blow up people's cars. It's pretty fun. I like it. Probably one of my favorite guns in the game, actually. But, uh, yeah, that's the Grizzly. Okay, guys, so the last, like, real sniper rifle I'm going to be going over is the Snake Spira. I don't know if I said that right, but I really like that gun. Um, it is a militia-grade rifle, which means it takes ranger ammo. Uh, I don't know why this website decided to call it a militia-grade. Why don't they just call it ranger-grade? But, I mean, I don't really know. Um, but it's a really cool gun. It has a 7 round magazine, R it takes ranger ammunition as I said before. It's pretty common, uh, usually you can find it at Holman Isle in the bunker. That's the most common place at least. I think there's also a mountain by um, Charlottetown with a tower on top, and sometimes you could find it in the tower. Um, so it, it's this is what it says, okay, don't get me wrong if this is wrong, um, but it says... Since it has a lack of bolt action, it has a high fire rate, so I guess it's not bolt action which means it fires a lot faster, um, and it can kill a zombie with one shot in the head. Again, semi and safety mode, that's not surprising, it's a sniper rifle. Okay guys, last but not least is actually the Shadow Stalker. I don't know why this is under the sniper rifle category, but I mean, whatever, it's already there, so might as well review it. Um, so basically, the Shadow Stalker is a prototype grade weapon, which means it takes a special ammo, which is actually rails. It has a one round magazine, so it only holds one rail at a time. And it's usually found, actually no, this is the only place it's found. This place right here is called Scorpion 7, if you guys are familiar with the game and you've seen it on the map before. But they did remove the words, but it used to be called Scorpion 7. I guess it still is technically. But uh, you could find the rail gun and the rails there. It is a extremely rare gun, of course. And it has a ton of damage. It'll kill a vehicle in one hit. Um, and it does a lot of damage against structures and stuff like that. But it's a really nice gun. 
It does take tactical sight and grip attachments, and it is one shot kill to any part of the body of a player or a zombie. So it's a really OP gun. If somebody has it, you should probably stay away from them. Um, I mean, ammo is rare though, so they might not spray you with it. Just be careful. But guys, that is it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, and hopefully this helped you out a bit. If you're a noob and you don't know what to do with weapons, or if you're experienced and you still don't know what to do with weapons, because I know some people like that. Um, so yeah, guys, that's it for this video. Please leave a like if you enjoyed, and subscribe to see more videos like this. Peace.